What's good, y'all? L Famous, living my life, not thinking about it twice. Don't be scared to like, subscribe, or share this dope content if you like it. Let's get it. Yeah, let's get it, man. And this one here is about Secretary Fruit, you heard? And the Ten Cap, and the Ten Cap Commandments. Yeah, the Ten Cap Commandments, you heard? Cause you're bro, cause that dude, that dude is Cap Master Flex. Cap Master Flex. First thing he capped about, K-9, yeah. K-9. He tried to say he cut K-9. You ain't cut K-9, B. You heard? And rest in peace to the bro K-9. You did not cut him, man. So that was the first time you was capping, my G. You heard? That's the first time you was capping. You are Cap Master Flex. The second time you was capping is about the killing in the John Rambo story. You was not there. You wasn't in the building. You know what I'm saying? And you ain't tell a story correct. You heard? You know what I'm saying? And John had to get up there and tell you you was capping, B. You know what I'm saying? Hook off, put it up there, you was capping, B. You know what I'm saying? And other dudes told the story to let it know that you was capping, B. You know what I'm saying? You're a cap master flex, yo. You heard? You cap master flex. The third thing you was capping about was the 718 war against the 212. You heard? You was capping about that. You ain't know nothing about that. At last asked you, how did it start? You didn't know how it started. Please, you were lame. You know her? The fourth thing was Rado's story. Yeah, Rado's story. You a cat master flex. The dude Rado from Brooklyn. You heard? I heard his name. I don't know him. You heard? You know what I'm saying? But I heard his name. The bro had... He had two upper, and he had a side, and he had a phone, and he had a house. You heard? He was doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? He was up there on one side, he had the jack, and the other side, Sushan had the jack. It don't get no realer than that. You know what I'm saying? Your boy Fruit running around, hating on that man, going into his story, talking about he going to tell a real story of Rado and this and that and that and this after Rado came out and, and dudes is filling the story. You know what I'm saying? The dude was all over the place in everybody else's story thinking that he was built like that. You know what I'm saying? You ain't built like that, B. You ain't built like that, B. You heard? So you a cat master. You heard? I got you as cat master flex. You heard? Your cap master flex. Remember that. Cap master flex. You always was capping. You capped on the whole last platform, and then you got to your own platform and started capping. Yeah, your cap master. You heard? You know what I'm saying? Now the fourth thing, yeah, the fourth thing was Rado's story. You know what I'm saying? You you was going in all in Rado history, talking about you jumped on his neck and this and that. Y'all sucked his rings off his fingers. Yo, I'm, I'm yo, y'all dudes, man. Y'all dudes was herb destroyers. You heard? Y'all dudes was on the island when it was nothing but little niggas on the island. You know what I'm saying? That mentality from '91, '92, and the early '90s. Died down. You heard all that cutting niggas, all that blowing niggas. You heard, yeah, niggas was still getting cut and blown, but it was on some lame shit. You know what I'm saying? It was on some, it was on some um clicked up shit. Dudes the only blowing nigga when they when they when they when they got when they got certain dudes on their side. You heard? Or they got or they rocking with certain dudes. You know what I'm saying? It's easy to blow a dude when you got five six dudes rolling with you. You heard? Or you trying to impress, um. Whoever in the house that's, you know what I'm saying, that's make that's busting their gun or whatever, you heard? Because that's what a lot of them dudes be doing. They be trying to impress dudes, you know what I'm saying? They be trying not to become the victim, you know what I'm saying? You know how that joint go. You know, you got to act like you a wolf. You got to act like you a killer. You got to act like you a dog just around the dogs just so they you know they keep them off of you, you know what I'm saying? But one day, niggas is going to jump on you and, and you're going to have to show and prove. But a lot of times, them dudes go out like birds, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, B. You know what I'm saying? So he was hating on Rado, hating on him, hating on him. Boy had his own jack, had his own house, all that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never hear Fruit talking about he had his own house. Fruit talk, talking that dirt. Nigga, Fruit, you ain't had your own house. You was sharing a house with Big Belly Heck and all them other dudes. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, the boys. You heard? 
Get out of here, nigga. All you was doing was running around looking for you ch change the yap from dudes that was least experienced. You heard about being in prison. You know what I'm saying? And all you did was rock off the strength of all your comrades that you got. You heard you name dropping ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Now the fifth thing dude was capping about was going with what was going on with him and Mikey in the LG story, you heard? He never kept it real about that, you know what I'm saying? He got up there, was like, oh yeah, Mikey, we gonna get together, we gotta finish up the LG story. A real nigga would've got up there and was like, yo, B, you know what I'm saying? The LG story is, is, is taking some time to be completed because at the end of the day, Mikey ain't feeling the joint, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know I got up there with Mikey and all that, and it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't work out. Mikey ain't feeling the joint, you know what I'm saying? Him and Laz running into, you know, running Running into a brick wall. Yo, keep it real, nigga. Know what I'm saying? Y'all keep you keep it real about everybody else, right? Cat Master Flex. Keep it real about that. No, you got up there and was like, oh nah, everything is alright with between me and Mikey and this and that and that and this and this and that. And I knew from the grapevine that everything wasn't alright with you. It wasn't alright with you. You know what I'm saying? You was capping about that. Capping about your relationship with Mikey. Then Mikey just came out and exposed you for 10 minutes. On Divine Joint. Expose you. I mean, expose you for two hours on Divine Joint. You heard? Expose you for two hours on Divine Joint. You heard? And let's back up a little. You know what I'm saying? Ever since Divine came out, tearing your head off, hitting you with this, hitting you with that, coming at your neck, I noticed that you ain't had that same type of energy for Divine. You tried to ignore him at first. Ooh. Ooh. And then he was just coming too hard. So shout out to you, Divine B, for exposing this dude. You know what I'm saying? This dude be dude was on the internet fronting, you heard? Fronting in everybody's stories. Boom. To the point where he tried to go into your story. You know what I'm saying? Had you on his heels. Once he got you on his heels, huh? We already see, can't get you off your, off his heels, you heard? Can't get him off his heels. <laughs> can't get you off his heels, you heard? That's his fault, you know what I'm saying? Should've mind your business. Stop jumping in everybody's story. Stop trying to think you the truth. You ain't the truth. You know what I'm saying? You're goofy. Then he, then, then, then he got on some, if, if I, if I can't beat him, I'ma join him. You heard? Yeah. The nigga got on some, if I can't beat him, I'ma join him. You heard? Yeah, this nigga hit me up on, on one of my comments. And he like, yo, man, we need to work. We need to work. We need to work. I'm looking at the nigga like, damn, this nigga want to work. This nigga wants some of my subscribers. He wants some of my viewers. He wants some of my supporters. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to work with that dude. But you know something? I'ma I'm a, I'm a give him a little interview. You heard? Because I, I see that, you know what I'm saying? He dying for an interview for L Famous, you heard? Then when I got up on the interview, he wasn't even trying to let me talk. Nigga was, nigga was trying to, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Go back to the interview if he still got it up there. Nigga, he wasn't even trying to let me talk, you heard? Fuck, what the hell you interview me for, you heard? To get my subscribers, supporters, and viewers, you heard? Like, nigga, the, the, dude, the dude is an internet lame, you heard? The dude was was last secretary, and he he wanted to be just like last. You know what I'm saying? He thought that he was gonna be able to get his videos to do numbers just like last. You heard? He was trying to piggyback off of everything off of last. You know what I'm saying? That's why I call him Secretary Fruit, aka Cat Master Flex. <laughs> dude always was capping, b. You know what I'm saying? Always. You heard? Always was capping. Always was capping. You know what I'm saying? Always was capping. You know what I'm saying? He the, he the one that brought, that, that gave us that hook off story. And you got to peep it, how he gave it. He gave it in a, um, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a petty way. You know what I'm saying? Like he was like, yeah, man, shout out, yo, yo, my man, my, my boy shoe, man, my show, my boy shoe, different, man. He did that little nigga dirty hook up. I'm like, damn, B, that's how you throw niggas out there. Know what I'm saying? But keeping it official, 
Hook off might have put in more work than you, nigga. Know what I'm saying? You want to be up there with the great so much. You know what I'm saying? You want to be up the great so much. Hook off probably put in more work than you, man. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. And just like Devon said, you ain't put in no, you ain't cut nobody on that island, B. You ain't cut nobody on that island, B. You heard? You was running around off your Brooklyn strength. You heard? Because you know everybody from DFY to Sparfit and all that. You heard? You grew up in jail, B. You was a fuck up. And it's written all over your face. It's written all over your face. You don't have to say a word. Yeah, nigga. It's written all over your face, nigga. What your life like, nigga. It's written all over your face what your life like, nigga. It's written all over your face, nigga. Know what I'm saying? So all that hating you was doing and all that trying to diverge it, you know what I'm saying, deflect it, you know what I'm saying, nigga was trying to deflect a lot of hate, trying to make it seem like dudes is hating on him, no, you a hater, man, you cat master flex, you heard, you heard, you secretary fruit, ten cap commandments, you heard, cat master flex, you heard, that's all you known for. When I had that joint going on with you and Star, I had, when I was in the street, I had official Brooklyn dudes running up on me in restaurants and all that, talking about, what up, bro? L, I'll be watching you, you heard? I'll be watching you. I fuck with you. I fuck with you. You heard? No doubt. Then turn around, he got a sweater on that got the Brooklyn Bridge on it. You heard? He got official sweater on. That's got got Brooklyn on the back of it, and it got the um, it got the bridge, the Brooklyn Bridge on it. You heard? He walked up to me. He was like, "Yo, I'm watching you, B. I'm feeling you. You heard? Keep it going. You heard?" I was like, "Oh shoot!" This was the same day that I came out with headshots with with Star with you. You heard? I'm in a restaurant in the Bronx. You heard? Official dude walk up to me and like, "Yo." L famous? Yeah, B. I be watching you, B. I like your work, B. Keep it going. I'm like, all right, boom, boom, boom. And when he walk off, he got a sweater on, and on the back of his sweater, it got a picture of the Brooklyn Big, Brooklyn Bridge, and it says Brooklyn Mad Big on the back. So I was, I felt good, because I was like, oh look, son from Brooklyn, and he and he feeling me, you heard? This nigga fruit trying to turn Brooklyn against me, talking about um. I'm a Brooklyn hater and um 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 I don't know how Brooklyn niggas move and all this lame shit. Nigga, I know I, I always knew how Brooklyn niggas move, B. You heard? I always fuck with my Brooklyn dudes, man. My Brooklyn dudes always kept it official, you heard? I just don't fuck with Brooklyn dudes like you. If you notice, I don't know I didn't I didn't know you up north. I was in I was in Attica with you, fruit. I was in Attica with you, fruit. I seen you by the pull-up bar. You wasn't, you wasn't, you was quiet as a church mouse in Attica, B. Yeah. You know I was with you in Attica in 2001 or 2002. Yeah. I went home from Attica. They sent me to sing, sing to the special program when I had two months left. But I went home, my, pa my papers, my release papers say Attica. Release from Attica. You heard? Parole from Attica. Know what I mean? So I was with you in Attica, Fruit. You wasn't no tough, rough nigga, no C70 Fruit shit. You was only getting busy on the island when you was adolescent, when you had all them doges, man. You heard? All them young dudes that were scared, that didn't really know about bidding, you heard? And you took advantage of that, you heard? By name dropping. Yeah, my son Mo Dog. Yeah, my son Mano. Yo, my son, this person, Sushan, God bless the dead, this person, that person. Yo, you was a name dropping, trying to trying to live off other niggas' work, name, and everything, you heard? You. So B, get out of here, man. You heard? Get out of here. Know what I'm saying?
So he did an interview with me to help his channel blow up. But later on, he got the nerve to come out with a video and say, I'm retarded. You heard? And guess when he said that? When Star came in the picture. Yeah, Star. You heard? Star had to hit that nigga with some headshots. That nigga was on the internet playing games, man. You heard? Playing games. And let me tell y'all something. Before I go, before I dead this video, because it's going to be a part three. And part three is going to be about everything that happened with Star Money Murder. You heard? Up until now. You heard? But before I go, let me tell y'all, I never reached out to Star. Star reached out to me, right? I was talking to Star for three days, and Star never said a word about Fruit or Puerto Rican Mikey. You heard? But it, one day, on the third day, I asked Star, I said, yo, Star, send me a picture so I could throw up and shake up the internet. You know what I'm saying? And plus, the people that got love for you, they when they see you, they're going to show you some love. You know what I'm saying? Not a lot of people don't even know you in prison. You heard? You know what I'm saying? So he was like, all right. He sent me a joint. That's that joint where he kneeling down with his shirt off with the shades on. You heard? And um, I put it on my Instagram and I put it on my... um. On my um YouTube. And both of them blew up. Both of them blew up. You heard? Both of them blew up. You know what I'm saying? And um, your man Fruit went crazy. You heard? Your man Fruit thought that I was... Because I threw up a picture of Star. And I put... um, I put the LG um Kings or whatever I said. You heard? This boy went crazy, y'all. Crazy. You heard? All in my DMs. Talking nonsense, you heard? Talking like he that dude. Talking like he got the whole Brooklyn on, on his side. Talking like he from he got LG on his side. And y'all gonna know, and y'all gonna see when we get into the star part of it. Y'all gonna I'ma have receipts, and I'ma show y'all that this dude be hating. This dude always was hating. You heard? You know what I'm saying? To the point where when Star reached out to me, that nigga almost. Fainted, you heard? That nigga almost had a heart attack, you heard? You know what I'm saying? A heart attack. And next up, part three.